Afternoon. My name is David Cockney. Not to be confused with our other geezer what comes from up north going by a similar moniker. Now I want to show you a few things about drawing. Life drawing as they call it at art school. I'm not sure why. Now when the average art student does a life drawing, invariably they start with the tits, because I guess they're the most prominent aspect of the human female form, when you ain't got no clothes on. So they draw the tits. And they're always too big. Don't matter if she's got a couple of fried eggs there. The tits in a student's drawing are too fucking big. Never mind. Then they have a little think and they think, oh fuck, yeah, she's got a head. So they give her a head on top of her neck. And then they think, oh, right, eyes, nose, mouth, facial features. Smiling, always better to draw them smiling. And then she's got to have a hairdo, is not she? So, hair, like so. Then the art student's mind always works associatively, you see. So they go, hair, where else is it? Where else is it? Somewhere about there. Unless she's a human anomaly. Now, the nude is usually posited as being reclining. So she will have one of her arms behind her head. Like so. As if to give the air of being in a state of relaxation. The other arm supports the weight of her shoulders and her head. And on the end of that arm, of course, there is a hand, the proverbial bunch of bananas. And we move on down the form. The student surveys the form and thinks, oh, I better give her a midriff and some hips, like so. Getting on there, you know, getting the drawing done they are. So the next bit, which is tricky because it's all the way down, are the legs and feet. And our model has one leg over the other one. Like so. And we give her a foot with some toes. And the other leg goes in underneath it. Oh, of course, don't forget the belly button. And there you have it, a wonderful average student drawing of the human female nude. Now, that ain't bad for starters, but it could be improved upon. Through careful observation, measuring. And next time, We'll have a look at how to do that. 